hello friends good morning good afternoon good evening and uh, uh, this is regarding uh, you know news update which has came today and as you know most of you that there will be no uh, ka mop up round or kct mop up round this year right and lot of students have become sad and that's what i am going to say that you are actually not going to lose anything and the reason why i am telling i will like just explain in this video there is nothing you lost by not attending or not having the kct mop up round right so this is what the you know article today came and it says that because of the lack of permission from supreme court and uh, government uh, is have not given permission to ka to conduct the kct mop up round right which was uh, you know scheduled earlier and they gave the back end seat matrix and uh, the reason why it did not come because the last date for as a last permission to do an engineering admission was given by AICT up to 30th of november right and government on ka was too late to do this and government and supreme court has not extended the permission that's why you know now the higher education department cannot do a kc mop up round right so from where those uh, vacant seats will be filled so those vacant seats will be filled through the dcet diploma cet entrance exam where the seats will be merged with those second year students and then the similar amount of seats will be filled by them right so it is good news for them but actually how much vacant seats were there remaining right for which this proposed mop up round was there so if you see engineering intake was 65000 seats total and out of those 65000 seats around 50000 seats in engineering was filled up to kct second extended route so the vacant seats were 15000 so you may think that 15000 is a good seats and i would have got you know computer science ai ml artificial intelligence ec electrical and all those top branches right but that is not the reality right out of these 50000 seats most of the seats were not suitable that's what i am going to show you and then you will understand that it was not even worth to attend the ka mop up round because seats were not that good similarly for pharmacy if you see in the last column only 309 seats were vacant and bnsy which is around 105 seats rest of the category all the seats were full so let me show you the analysis of those 15000 seats which were remaining after the second extended round so if you see this snapshot and read in the fourth and the fifth line it says in computer science engineering there were no seats vacant all csc core seats were filled and in csc aiml csc computer science artificial intelligence and machine learning branch only nine seats were vacant and in the csc data science eight seats were vacant and in the information science around seven seats were vacant now you can understand computer science zero seats information science seven seats ai csc ai ml nine seats and csc data science eight seats out of this 35 36 seats which are related with computer science how many students would have got a good dream seats right and these seats 35 36 computer science related branches seats were available mostly in the lower end college right so even if there was a kct mop up round you would have not got any good seat right maximum you would have got some ece in the you know medium to lower end colleges right that's all those right so there was no big loss so where was the actual larger number of vacant seats were there so large number of vacant seats like 4900 vacant seats were there in civil engineering right and similarly 5614 vacant seats were there in mechanical engineering so almost 11000 12000 seats were vacant 12000 more than 12000 seats were vacant only in you know mechanical and civil and how many of uh, you were interested in that the answer is no not much many students were even interested in those so it doesn't even if it was there a mop up round it would have not brought any good news for you right that's what my point and don't be bothered about the you know counseling and whatever college you got best of luck and study well and get get a good future placements for yourself that's what i wanted to tell you all and wish you all the best of luck for your four years of studies and placement and thanks for watching and please keep subscribe and i'll be sharing some important important insights for you throughout your you know journey take care and bye